Hey everyone, my name is Yvonne. I am an ML engineer on the platform team, and previously I was on the data and AI team. As the DevRel team of Gen AI, we are on the frontier of this new technology. And today I will take you on my journey to reflect what are the key projects we have been working on in the past one year. As the holidays are around the corner and I reflect back into this year of what I've been doing in the past one year, I'd say 2023 is definitely a year of Gen AI. Everyone has been talking about new technologies around large language models and what it can or cannot do for us. In today's agenda, I will cover a few topics in chronicle order throughout the year. I will start with what is Gen AI and why this revolution happens at the beginning of this year. And I will go into prompting, um, prompt engineering strategies, and I will introduce the development of the end-to-end -end solutions, which is the Jumpstart solution. And last but not least, I will talk about Duet AI, which is the uniform platform that our team has been working on and we will continue in the next year. So right now we are in the AI driven revolution. We are on a reflection point where the relationship between humans and technologies is rapidly growing with different modes, such as tax, audio, video, or images, which applied to everyday life. Consumer-grade Gen AI in chatbots and digital avatars have gone really viral. But what are the enterprise-scale use cases for Gen AI technology? And what are the new workflows can be automated? But then when can or can't you use LMs in healthcare or maybe financial services? So we are discovering and experimenting everything right now. I'm certain we will look back in a few years and actually astound at the use cases which is implemented. But why everything happens right now? Looking from several perspectives, um, firstly, massive amount of expensive compute and unprecedented accumulation and access to a lot of data and also top tier and breakthrough in research, starting from attention is all you need, which built by Google research and also, really importantly, plenty of open source tools and community contributions all around the world. So right now, generative models can have a predictive capabilities which allowed us to create more robust output, but also understand more robust input. This is a turning point of the LMs. For example, I can ask a question in a, a really unstructured way to a text model and get back a proper response. For example, I asked it to explain something to me, maybe summarize an input of text or translate some piece of code or any other task I want to ask it. It can give me a proper response. Google Cloud, as one of the leaders in natural language research, also has offerings of foundation models, which is called Palm 2, and that was launched a few months ago. So what is foundation model if you, uh, if you haven't explored that? I asked Palm model for a definition, and here is how it responded to me. Foundation models are large AI models that can be adapted to a wide range of tasks after being trained on massive amount of unlabeled data. And with zero or minimum training required, foundation models work really well out of the box and can be adapted for the targeted use cases with very little example data. And more, most excitingly, some process generative capabilities, and this is across data types, many data types, such as tags, image, code. And this can be built even as a platform experience to integrate into everything that you use daily. So those foundation models actually live in the house of Model Garden on Vertex AI on Google Cloud. And it is where you can go discover, tune, customize both Google and external models, um, such as Llama, and we provide a curated model discovery experience. And now I have, I've talked about Vertex um, when I talk about Model Garden, which, which is where the LMs live in. So let's zoom into Vertex AI a little bit. You may or may not be familiar with our Vertex AI platform, but we launched that a couple of years ago as our end-to-end -end ML platform that helps both developers and data scientists to accelerate um, the delivery of ML models and applications to production. And now we are enriching the whole experience with Gen AI. 
So in the diagram that's showing here, the blue part is where we announce the Gen AI. The model garden is where you go to get a curated experience for discovering these models. And the studio um, is where you can experiment and deploy the model. And the foundation models cover many aspects, such as tags, code, embeddings, um, and also many more probably in the future. And as I am an ML engineer and our team does, first thing come into my mind is how to use those LMs effectively and efficiently to extract really meaningful answers out of the model. This is called prompting or prompt engineering. Our team has spent a lot of time into field shot prompting, chain of thought, grounding, um, and also React, uh, many other advanced prompting techniques. Essentially, how to improve model response with prompting, because that's the most cost-effective way without retraining data, without fine-tune. And we launched the golden example in many categories on model garden in Vertex AI. So in the picture I'm showing here, all of the prompting examples that we have built help you to use the LM models for your use case, such as document summarization, question answering, entity extraction, and many more. One of the models I want to highlight is the palm for tags. Tags is for sure one of the most popular domain that people want to use because you can it's like a human chatbot or somebody you can directly ask questions based on your language. And our team has shaped this engagement into the end-to-end -end solution that is one-click deployable on Google Cloud, um, which is called Jumpstart Solutions that we I will talk about in the next slide. Here it is, the Jumpstart Solution. Um, our team has been particularly working on the topic, which is document summarization with Gen AI. So you might be wondering, what are the Jumpstart Solutions? It might be your first time hearing the term. Google Cloud Jumpstart Solution are the pre-built open source solution that help you to quickly deploy and learn about Google Cloud technologies. So when I say open source, yes, you can view the cloud source, um, also the code source directly on GitHub publicly. These solutions are designed to be easy to use and customize, and it comes with really comprehensive documentation and explanations to help you to understand how they work. On the picture showing here, there are several of the other Jumpstart solutions that our sister team has built. For example, Data Warehouse with BigQuery, Log Analysis Pipeline, and many more that you can check on the page. So the solution that we emphasize and our team has been focusing on is a document summarization use case. Um, this one summarized the given large corpus of document in PDF format. It will scan the PDF using the OCR into text, and then output a summary of the file using large language model by calling the POM2, which is the LMs. In, in the real life scenarios, there are many situations where people use PDFs. It's the most predominant file format in the past decade in financial services and other traditional services. And this solution can really help them to migrate their business to cloud. And this is where they can take the leverage of LMs and help their business to, to be used uh, more effectively and efficiently. You can start the document summarization application in two ways. Either you can follow the tutorial that we have created um, in a Jupyter notebook, or you can interact directly with the Google Cloud services. This is how you can deploy the Jumpstart solution with just one click. So if you check out the solution, feel free to dive deep into a solution in the Cloud Console. Um, there are two big benefits I want to mention um, of this solution. The first is this is one click deployable. It, it is a no code, low code solution. Secondly, it is very cost effective based on the size of the PDF you like to summarize. I've talked about the Jumpstart solution. I've talked about prompting, but then into a deeper level, what if you want to build large language model into a platform experience? Or to say, maybe as an extension to integrate into everything that you use, which could help you to write code, maybe answer questions, and increase productivity in your daily job. This is our mission of doing AI on Google Cloud.
as a developer, um, we may seem really glamorous, but our day-to-day -day job always hard work and debugging into a new field of knowledge. According to Stack Overflow's 2022 survey of professional developers, 62% spent more than 30 minutes a day searching for answers or solutions to problems, and 25% of them spend more than one hour each day. 68% encounter knowledge silo at least once a week. This is a really real opportunity to help developers work more effectively and strategically. Let's look at one example. So for example, Sam, who is a really experienced software engineer at a commercial website, and he uses Visual Studio Code in his daily job, and he's new to Google Cloud. He wants to build a website on Google Cloud and integrate the AI in Cloud Code to write better code, to debug errors, and to create a really reliable website. So there are two key user journeys that we support in here. First is the conversational assistance, where developers can describe the technical problem in an abstract term to a chat interface to get code suggestions, which can be refined via natural conversation. And this reduces the barrier when the developers are tackling new problems. The second that we can offer is the AI pair programmer, where developers get contextual suggestions where writing, when writing code, enabling them to move faster without any context switching, allow them to stay on the same page to get a question answered and um, to make the coding so much more easier. So for example, Sam is working on his project today. He sees the code suggestion when he tried to type the function. He reviews the suggested code and accept that um, from the gray box, which really improves his productivity. Or the business is doing really well, and now they are ready to expand to new countries. They need to translate the website to different languages, and Sam want to use the translation feature supported by Google Cloud, but then he doesn't know how to write the function. So he writes down the request, and do AI help him generate the code. And now Sam need to add the translation module to the code, which is in the gray box. It suggests the code that he need to write. And after that, Sam is helping a colleague to fix a bug. He opens a code file and select the piece of code he wants to ask LM to explain. And do AI explain the code in line with the editor. And Sam has some follow-up questions after reviewing the explanation. Great, the bug now has been fixed. Um, Sam would like to test the package to make sure everything compiles just fine before he push that into the production environment. With chat, he can ask the AI to propose a text plan and follow up with the edge case definition, and it works really well. So I've been talking about a lot of stuff. I talk about how Gen AI and everything happened at the beginning of the year why it happened, and also the history of AI. And then I move into prompting and a lot of different techniques, different examples we have built into the uh, Vertex model garden. And then I move into an end-to-end -end cloud one-click deployable solution, which is um, the, the generative AI document summarization. And then I talk about Dewey AI just a few minutes ago, which is a unified uh, platform experience I have linked all of the resources on this page right now, so you can check out them if you're interested in any of them. And please feel free to reach out to me if any questions. And thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the sessions in the ML Summit, in the Women in ML Summit, which is a special place that we are all here. And happy holidays and happy new year.